The Grind, brought to you by Regum Wright Waterfowl, Dakota Decoy, Lucky Duck, Heavy Shot, Delta Waterfowl, and Wild Deer. Additional sponsorship provided by these fine companies. So you want to be a hunting guide. Well, first you need to know how to hunt. You need to know animal behavior and human behavior. You need to learn how to make something out of nothing. You need to be able to function on no sleep and very little food. You need to be able to handle stress and be as tough as nails. Those who are weak need not apply. Get him! Nice shot, Zach. The opportunity of guiding came up when I was hunting on my own. Um, I was just out scouting. I had a bunch of fields tied up. The guy says, man, you're doing a pretty good job. Why don't you come work for me? And that's how I got into guiding. <laughs> Good shoot, fellas. Good shoot. Nice. Good job. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> it feels good on the shoulder. It wakes you up. <laughs> uh, I became a guide um, just from the sheer just love of waterfowl hunting. I uh, got into it, uncle's family, and you know, just started doing it as a hobby and now it's uh, now it's a livelihood so. Waterfowl hunting since I've been three years old. It's been just in my blood. It's not my fault, it's my granddad's fault, my dad's fault. But, um, just loved it. You all right? <laughs> Did it get you? <laughs> Did it get me? <laughs> Thank goodness I've had children already. <laughs> I was watching the show. Okay, on these ducks on the left one. Get him! There you go. Good shooting, fellas. Good, Good job, job, guys. Good job. That's pretty tough on those two. I grabbed that thing and shoved it in my behind. You did? Yeah. <laughs> Get him! 
Nice. I became a waterfowl guide because it's something I really enjoy doing, something I spent a lot of time doing, and uh, you know, was was a way to uh, make my passion my work. Get him! There you go. Catch. Whipple in large spread. That was cool. <laughs> that was awesome. Flipping around. <laughs> Yeah, there's a speck too. I mean, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful speck. Good job, right side. Lucky Duck Premium Decoys. The only fully flocked spinning and flapping wing decoy. Decoys that are so attractive, birds everywhere are dying to get a closer look. Visit us at LuckyDuck.com for a complete line of products. We are the masters of deception. They say that life is remembered in snapshots. One picture, a thousand words. And as memory lines form across our tired, wind-beaten faces, we'll remember those days in the field, hunting buddies and hunting dogs. And we'll realize we didn't just hunt waterfowl, but we were waterfowlers. Listen up, at Dakota Decoy we build the world's highest quality, most durable gunning decoys built for the waterfowl hunt. We spend countless hours developing our products to be the best to ensure your success in the field. Once you hunt Dakotas, you will never look back. Dakota Decoy, the migration stops here. <laughs> That's a little better. <laughs> okay. Hey Alex, they kind of hit the hole. They hit the hole. <laughs> you know, the, the opportunity kind of presented itself. Um, you know, we, we were hunting a lot and guiding a lot and, and had a lot of contacts on leases and, and it was just time for us to start our own company. Actually, the first couple of weeks guiding, I felt guilty of even taking a paycheck because it was just like you're out having a good time. And, but. Uh, it does get it does get stressful and tiring and but uh, it's it's a pretty good gig. Oh, I wasn't worried. You know, what, what do I always do? I've got a bullet. Do that. Seriously. I got mine. Here's how I came up, boys. Awesome. <laughs> Unbelievable. I do it once a trip, don't I, Alex? The hardest thing about being a hunting guide is 
At the end of the day, I mean, you, you want your clients to have a great day, be into the birds, just have limits every day, but that's just not the nature of the beast. And, you know, we get stuck in situations where, you know, we get big storms that roll in or we don't have any weather and the birds get tough. <laughs> You see how fast he came in? Oh my God. He came hard. <laughs> <laughs> it passed. Man. Came like a mallard right? Yeah, he did. They, they, just like now, they almost touched He was coming so fast, he had to loop so back around. Yeah. From the makers of Heavy Shot, the biggest development in waterfowl loads in a decade, Heavy Metal. Delivering 20% more lethal pellets on target than any conventional waterfowl load, with superior patterning and energy from Heavy Shot's patented technology. Available now and priced competitively with premium steel loads. More pellets, more pattern, more birds in your bag. Get the picture? Learn more at HeavyShot.com. Everybody says that you know you're just playing around, you're not actually working, but a guide is he starts at you know, right now it's three o'clock in the morning and goes until midnight, so the hours are super long. He's using equipment, beating up vehicles and pickup trucks and you know it's 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 not just playing around, it's uh, it's a lot of work and you know what a guide a, a good guide shows how much he loves doing it by how much he puts into it and, um, yeah it's 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 a good gig but it's it's not for the faint of heart it's a, it's a marathon <laughs> Too whitey! Too whitey! Come on! It's like everybody targeted that snow. I was hanging out here. Hup, 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 hup. 
Get him. Go on. Nice <laughs> shot, Ricky. Ricky Lord. Cat. Good job, Ricky. Good man. Love it. I love it. I was tying my pants. No single fun. Well, yeah, we're definitely lucky to do what we love for a job. You know, that there's some things that people don't realize, you know, the the countless hours of scouting and driving and, and being up at four or five o'clock in the morning for 50 days straight, building duck blinds, digging goose pits, you know, uh, stuff months before the season opens and, and for weeks when the season closes, you know, the behind the scenes stuff. There's, there's a lot to it that, that people probably don't realize. <laughs> Get him. Okay. Good job, guys. Good job. Team effort, boys. I like it. 13. <laughs> Gosh, you don't want to look at that. Do not want to look at that. Oh, yeah. Yep. I mean, not that, you know, shooting 40 in 15 minutes yesterday yeah, sucked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, just change the face. <laughs> Get him, Alex! Look at the snows, Alex! Look at the snows! Get him! Get him, Alex! You're so selfish. I called myself out on that shot. You're so selfish. Sniped it. You didn't even call your name before you shot. How rude. I can't remember my name. I can't remember my name. I called it my name. What's my name? Get him! Get him, Jason. Bunch of, nice. Bunch of selfish people. Good, Good job, job, Jason. <laughs> There's like seven Jasons out here. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Enough for you guys to catch up. Yeah. <laughs> Delta's Waterfowl Heritage Fund allows local chapters to direct conservation projects in their area by allowing chapters to keep 25% of net proceeds from fundraising events. This money can be used for building hen houses, wood duck boxes, first hunt events and scholarships, or reallocated back to Delta for predator management, student research, or other Delta programs. What would happen if the world's most award-winning shotgun ammunition manufacturer decided to build the world's best choke tubes? They'd succeed. Introducing Heavy Shot's maximum performance choke tubes. Without a doubt, the finest field choke tubes ever designed. Heavy Shot, continuing to improve on the shooting experience. Find out more at heavyshot.com. Dream Series decoys from Dakota Decoy are the most realistic, dependable decoys on the market. From our mallards to our honkers, these decoys will give you years of trouble-free gunning. We pride ourselves in excellence to bring you the most durable decoys available. Once you make the switch to Dakotas, you'll never look back. Dakota Decoy, the migration stops here.
to find a good guide, in my opinion, I mean, the, a lot of the stuff, you know, internet, you know, word of mouth. If you got a buddy that went on a hunt, he went elk hunting in Colorado, or he was up in Idaho chasing big mule deer, you know, if they have credentials online and you know someone that's hunted with them, you know, that's, that's kind of where I go. Yeah, word of mouth is probably the best, you know, and if not in this day and age with the internet and, and Facebook and all the things going mm -hmm. on, uh, you know, check out a guy's website, you know. Oh, yeah. uh, look at uh, any referrals that there, that there is listed there and, and do a little research, put a little time in and, um, you know, most, most good outfits will have plenty of pictures for you to view, maybe some videos, you know, speak with somebody that's went with them and get a, get a first-hand report. Yeah, where? Oh, that, that, that leak, there was a bunch coming high, let's all build up. Those three did the same thing, uh, did they? I didn't oh, yeah. see them until they were going away. <laughs> yeah, they were right there. Huh? I'd suggest the first thing to, how to look, choose a, an outfitter or guide is, the rapport you have. Strike up a conversation at a trade show or on the phone and see how receptive he is to your questions. You know, the answers he provides you is probably who you're gonna be most warm with. There's a lot of great spots and, you know, good operations, but it's who you click with and have the most fun. Feel the juice. Oh, there goes Chachi. Snow Goose group here out front. Snow oh. Goose in the front. Oh. <laughs> there was a spec slide around in that group. Yeah. Oh, was there? Yeah. I didn't yeah. see it. As a client, I, I would, you know, bring gun, ammo, um, layered clothing. You know, here in Colorado, it could be 20 below zero or it could be 60 degrees. So, you know, definitely check out the weather. Uh, be prepared for, for whatever the conditions may be, your, your license and, and any state requirements wherever you're hunting and you know really from there on out your guide should be taking good care of you and uh, supplying everything else that you're going to need. Things you can do to prepare for your hunt, obviously get the right gear you need, um, you can practice shooting, if you're going to be hunting out of layout blinds, you know go to a sporting clay range, shoot out of a layout blind. Know your equipment, your shotguns, you know, getting the right footwear. Just be prepared and uh, so when it's time to go, you're ready to go. You get the question is people coming up to us after hunt, you know, and maybe it's a buddy of ours or a client and they're asking us, you know, how much should we tip? It's it's a service we're providing. You, it's like you go to a restaurant, you know, it's how much your service that you ended up getting, if it was good, you know, if, if your guide, if you're going on a deer hunt was working his tail off and you guys were just after him up and down hills, very knowledgeable and just a really good guy. I mean, at the end of the day, I think, you know, you're looking at 15, 20 plus percent end of, uh, of what your hunt was. <laughs> Look at the snow. <laughs> Who's trying to kill me over here? <laughs> Sorry. That was That's making him wait so long, my dear. Join us next week for more of the Grind Waterfowl TV. Check us out on the web at thegrindwaterfowl.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.